Now the go bag comes with four stiff panels and that's meant to make the bag rigid so you can store things in it like the included cooler. Now this nice thing about these is that they have these Velcro attachments on them so you just want to line those up. Now when you're putting these in here you got to remember it's meant to make it rigid so you might have to bang it into place a little bit to get it in there all the way. But the Velcro will line up and as you can see the bag transforms into a storage bin. Now a good tip for the larger panels is to feed it in sideways, line up one corner, and then bring the other side in. Again, give it a little bit of a tap to get it into place. Now the back panel is actually your tabletop. So you wanna put the insert in just like the other side. and tap it into place. The go bag also comes with a zippered tote cooler which is really capacious. You can fit tons of food or drinks in here and it's nicely insulated as well. And this also has velcro panels on it so you can stick it right inside the go bag and velcro it into place and you still have the other half of the go bag to store whatever else you might want to put in there whether it's a purse a backpack food game balls whatever it is you might have with you now as i mentioned one of the panels is actually a tabletop as well it has this flap that goes on the outside you'll notice two velcro straps on the bottom you just want to take the metal bracer and put it underneath there velcro it in and you've got yourself a nice, sturdy tabletop. And you can put whatever you want on here, whether it's a drink, a tackle box, whatever it is you have with you. Now the go bag has a ton of storage, not only inside the bag, but on the side of it as well. So you can store everything that you need to set up the go bag along with all the essentials you want to bring with you. We chose to put the hardware in one of the two top compartments on the side. We have the tent poles in this really long bottom compartment here. And then if we flip it around, we've actually got this really nice big pouch, which we chose to put the tent cabana in as well. Now you can put the side panels, the cooler tote, and the table legs inside the actual go bag and still have plenty of room for other stuff. Now the go bag comes with two tent poles, so you just want to feed those across both sides of the canopy itself. Now inside the large compartment on the front that's meant to house the cabana, you actually have a series of clips that you can use to stabilize the tent during setup and while you have the tent assembled. At the four corners of the cabana, you'll find these black plastic clips. On the first large hole is where the actual tent pole is gonna go in, and then you stake it down on the smaller hole. Now this took me about 10 minutes to set up by myself. Now three out of the four sides of this canopy actually open up to give you a nice breeze or you can close the model off to keep you away from the bugs or the elements. The door itself opens up like a regular tent. Now the side panels open up on both sides. And then you can roll these up And there's two loops at the top that you can lace them so that they stay open. Now on the back, you even have a pretty large window that opens up and it works the same as the side panels. You just roll it up and tie it closed so you have a nice cross breeze. A quick tip about breaking the tent down, if you have the cabana clipped into the go bag, it makes it a lot easier to roll up and store in the side pouch.
right, now it's time to hit the beach, so we're gonna want the all-terrain tires on here. These are great for traversing sand, grass, rock, whatever kind of terrain you might be facing. And it's super simple to set this up. It comes with six of these loop pins, and all you're gonna have to do is put one on the inside, one to stop the tire from sliding onto the axle, and then one to secure it in place after you've put the tire on. Now I suggest setting one tire up first, then when you open up this flap that's near the wheels, you can slide it right through the axle insert, and then set up the other side. 